Hello, my young friends. I hope all of you are doing well and that you had a good week last week. I went to the Fresh Market yesterday and I bought some beautiful flowers to go on my kitchen table. They're fresh flowers. So they came from the Fresh Market. If you've never been to the Fresh Market, ask your mom or dad to take you because it is a magical place. So, fresh flowers are a symbol of springtime because flowers bloom in the spring, grass grows and turns green in the spring, trees blossom, and all kinds of wonderful things happen. The weather gets warmer, it stays lighter in the evening due to daylight savings time. Yay! So spring is one of our seasons. It's a season of renewal and newness. There's another season that we're celebrating in our church, and it is Lent. Today is Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is the beginning of Holy Week, and that leads up to Easter Sunday when Jesus rose after he was crucified. Now on Palm Sunday, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. And it was a big celebration. People were there, they were singing, they were clapping, they were waving palm branches. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They were excited to see Jesus. Can't you just imagine how much fun that would have been? But Jesus knew that things were going to change. And during that week on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, things did change. Things got a little worse for Jesus. People started turning against him. They didn't believe that he was the son of God. They wanted to see him gone. So on Thursday, which we call Monday Thursday, Jesus and his disciples met for what we call the Last Supper. It was a time when they shared food and shared stories, and it really was the last time they would be together. They sat together, they broke the bread, and Jesus said, this is my body given for you. And they took the cup, and Jesus said, this is my blood shed for you. You see, Jesus knew that because he was God's son, God had a special plan for him, and that he was sent here to save us, to save us from our sins, so that we would be forgiven. And Jesus knew that his time was coming to an end on this earth and that he would be crucified, nailed to a cross on Friday, and that he would die, but he would rise again on Easter Sunday morning. And that's the glory of this week. So from today, Palm Sunday, till Easter Sunday, I want you to say special prayers every day thanking God for the gift of his son because it's a wonderful gift and because of Jesus, our sins are forgiven. So enjoy the springtime. Don't let the pollen bother you too much and I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week and happy Easter. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, we forgot to say a prayer. Oh, no. Okay, let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for this week. We thank you for the celebration of Palm Sunday. We thank you for giving us your son Jesus to die for us, for our sins, so that we would be forgiven. We love you. Thank you. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, once again, have a good week. Remember to say prayers every day thanking God for Jesus' special gift, his life that he gave for us. See you later. Love you.